Hello everybody, today I thought I would show you a little trick that my mom taught me to help uh, prevent cracking and breaking the spine of new books. So I've got a hardcover that I'm gonna show you and also a paperback. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you an example of each one of these. Um, this is just an easy method that she taught me when she bought me a really thick leather bound book when I was a kid. Uh, and I did it on that book and I've been reading that book for years and years and it's never had any cracks or damage on the spine. So I'm gonna put my camera down here a little bit and show you. Um, well, first, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna take the dust jacket off just so it doesn't get in the way. Uh, just makes it, I guess, a little bit easier, but really that's not, a, that's not essential. It's not uh, mandatory or anything like that. All you want to do is place the book on its spine, open up the front cover and the back cover, sort of give it a little flex like this. And then you're just gonna go, I like to start with one page at a time, uh, but if it's a thick book like this, of course, this is over a thousand pages, I'm not gonna go one at a time the whole way through. Uh, I'm gonna jump up to doing two, then three, then four, then probably, you know, five or 10 at a time after that. But at the beginning, I always like to start with just one at a time. And you just open the book very slowly, a page or two at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing two pages at a time. <clears throat> and with each time that you uh, turn the page, each little section that you open, all you wanna do is flex the spine a little bit there. I'm gonna start doing three pages at a time. And this is it. You just do this until you get to the center of the book. Um, and this is going to sort of stretch the spine out. It's gonna help it flex open without damaging it so that when you go through and read the book, even if you open it all the way, it's not going to break or crack that spine. And I mentioned earlier that this is for you know new books, but I actually do this pretty much anytime I start a book, even if it's one uh, that has been on my shelf for a while, even if it's one that I've personally read before, or if it's a used book or whatever. I just do this, you know, if it's been sitting on the shelf for a while, the spine might be a little bit stiff. So I pretty much just do this every time I, I open a new book uh, to read. So I'm gonna stop talking now and speed up this video and I'll see you at the end. Ooh, look at that illustration. And I think I'll just call it good right here. Right here, right in the middle, chapter 47. So um, when you read through the book, that should prevent the spine from getting cracked or messed up. Um, this is not always, you know, it's it's less of a problem with hardcovers. So I wanted to show you with a, with a paperback, um, especially if the binding is particularly tight. I don't know if you can tell, this is a used copy of Jurassic Park that I got. I bought it at a, I think I got it at a thrift store. Um, so I haven't read it before, but it was apparently enjoyed by somebody else before me. But even though it's not a new book, I still like to stretch it out, like I said earlier. So. Uh, with a paperback book, you do want to be a little bit more careful, like I said, especially if the binding is extra tight. Uh, sometimes paperbacks can be just be like super duper stiff, you know? Um, so you can maybe even do this more than once, right? The first time, don't stretch it too hard. Just do it a little bit like this or something like that. Uh, and then go through it again and see if you can stretch it a little bit more. Something like that is, uh, it's just gonna help prevent the spine from breaking. And especially on a paperback, that's when it's, you know, more noticeable when the when it has a broken spine. Me personally, I really don't like that look. I really, uh, it bothers me. I, I like my books to, to look as nice as they can. 
I buy most of mine used, so a lot of them don't really look that great, but I don't want to be damaging them if I can prevent, if I can help it, you know? You'll notice I'm not flexing this one quite as far as I was uh, with Words of Radiance over there with the Stormlight book. The Words of Radiance book, it was already like, it just fell open really easily. I, I think even if I didn't stretch that spine, it wouldn't have been an issue at all. This one here, um, I think probably just because it is a paperback, I definitely can feel a lot more resistance. Like if I just let it go, it doesn't it doesn't lay flat, you know? Uh, so definitely it's going to make more of a difference on your paperback books. I'm just going to... I'm not even counting. I'm not paying attention to the book because I'm talking, but I'm going to go four pages at a time. Let's do that. Once you start getting into the middle of the book, you can actually flex it a little bit more. And you just go by feel. You know, if it's giving you a lot of resistance, don't push it too hard because you don't want to crack the spine. Uh, but if it is flexible, go ahead and flex it open. See how once we're closer to the middle, I can open the book completely flat and, and really put some pressure on it. And it's not hurting the spine or anything like that. And here we are getting very close to the middle of the book. I think just one more and we'll be done. And there you have it. So then your book is going to be a little bit loose and open like that, right? But put it back on the shelf, it'll be just fine. And if you notice, the spine itself is nice and smooth. It was not cracked. It doesn't have any creases or ugly, you know, cracks or whatever. Um, the book, you can open it all the way and the spine will be fine. There you have it.